Yeah, how are you? You must have great. You must be really happy. Like straight in at number two, I believe the album went in. Classic. That's great. It's, um, it's really exciting. I was actually quite nervous because obviously when I d did the TV show Popstar Opera Star, yeah. everybody was like going crazy for the classical stuff and I was like, should I do it? Should I put some on the album? Should yeah. I not? So um, it was kind of one of those things I was like, is everybody going to take this? But they have. Everybody seems to really love it, which is nice. Okay. So it's always a nice feeling. Is classical music something you always wanted to do then? Or were you into classical? Because you weren't, you weren't really into it, I believe, before I that show. Yeah, well, I didn't even really think about it. it like, when I, when I got off at the show, mm. um, I had just come back from a, a three-week holiday. I was all chilled out. It was one of the first things in 2011. And I was like, you know... Nevies, you know, shit, and yeah. I was all relaxed, and I thought, let's just do it. It'll be a fun experience. And then it was miles away. I didn't really have to think about it. <laughs> right. um, and then June came around, and I started the rehearsals, and I was like, oh my god, what have I set myself up? Because it was really hard okay. to switch from like two different st to one style of music to a totally different, and have to balance between the two. Because I was still doing shows. Yeah. I was doing shows and different things, and and um, it was really hard. But then, I, then halfway through, I was like, oh my god, I really actually enjoy this. And um, and I thought, you know what it is. I, and uh, when I was doing the shows, people were like chanting, like sing that and dove. I said, you know, chanting these classical really? songs. Yeah, like young people, like fourteen-year-old girls, right up to to like six-year-old women to, okay. to thirty-year-old men. It was just everybody was going crazy for it. So I thought, I've got to put some on the album. So okay. it's it's worked. So do you are you just like looking for punishment? So I would have thought going on these shows is extremely stressful. Like obviously you did the X Factor and you won. You're brilliant on it, but it must have been stressful actually doing it. So then to put yourself in that position yeah. again where you have to perform every week to millions of people viewing. It, or is, is it just well, second nature to you at this stage? I love the X Factor and I love the experience of it. Um, so I, And I kind of had forgot about all the stressful parts and just remembered it as a fond memory. Um, and I thought, oh, it'd be nice, you know, to do the kind of weekly live shows again. Yeah. Then realised once I got there, <laughs> wow, again, here we go, the nerves are pumping. And, and even worse, having to sing something that you're not used to singing as well. Okay. And do you still watch the X Factor things? Obviously, we're all glued here in Ireland. It's back on our screens, and the American one is starting on Friday. Um, do you still watch it yourself? And do you think it's a, a good show to I go do. on? Or do you recommend it? I, I find it difficult to watch it now, um, cause with it being so busy. But I always try and catch up on it and watch it on, you know, catch up TV and things yeah. like that. Um, I think it's good. I think, if I'm honest, I think Cheryl's a big miss. Yeah, but I, I think, really miss her. Yeah, I do. But I think the new judges are, are doing a really good job. And I think it's a new show now. It's a totally different show. Yeah. And I think that's the thing that you need to focus on now. It's it's, a, no, it's a different show. Do you still stay in contact with Cheryl? Talking about Cheryl, like, would you still be in contact with her? Yeah, yeah, we we'll text each other now and again and, and make sure we we we'll catch up when it's possible. Um, but but yeah, it's nice to, you know, we we'll, we'll shared that experience. It's nice to kind of keep in contact. You must be happy for her because it's come out in the papers that they're in America. It seems to be but people are saying that she was brilliant on the X Factor because obviously she was on for a half an yeah. episode. And, and it seems to be she might get another gig out of in the States. Like she must be happy. You must be happy for her, right? Yeah, I am. I mean, you know, maybe it's maybe it's one of Mr. Cowell's mistakes, you know. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, she's amazing. She's a star. Everybody loves her. She's got a fantastic personality. So I had no doubt people in America would like her, but it seems somebody else did. Okay, well, obviously, since the X Factor, you are a face that everybody recognises and everybody knows who you are. So how have you handled that side of the whole thing, the fame thing? Like, if you walk down the street in Dublin today, people are going to come up to you. Do you know kind of way? Do you like that, or does it get a bit annoying after um, a while? I don't... It's a funny one to get asked, because... I don't like it, but I don't dislike it. Right. I, it just happens. And I, <laughs> you know, because I think I don't get wrapped up in it all. I don't kind of, I, I don't thrive off it. It's not why I do the job. I do it because I get to perform. Yeah. Um, and, I, and I love nothing more than meeting people and meeting fans and, and chatting. But at the same time, I, 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 it, it is, it's a daunting thing, you know, that the whole fame thing. And, it, it, yeah, and at first, I was a bit like the rabbit in the headlights. And only just recently, I think just previous to, to the pop star opera store, I had got it and I understood how to kind of separate it in my life because previously that was a bit like what is going on here <laughs> you know it is it's hard to get your head around um, but yeah I just kind of enjoy that people enjoy my music that's the main thing and I, and I enjoy that people enjoy something that I enjoy doing as well it's a true you auditioned for the X Factor and then walked away from it though yeah, two did. years before I didn't know that I was just looking up on the internet and I, I was, found that out somewhere I was just turned 16 and I went in I think it was the year that Leon Jackson won Right, yeah. And um, I got a boot camp and I just freaked out. I was far too young. I'd never been away from home before. How old were you? I, was, I had just turned 16. Oh, so it was, it was about two You're a wee baby. Yeah. <laughs> and I just missed home. I missed home. I, di I just didn't. 
I didn't I didn't understand the whole TV. I was like, oh my god, what is this? <laughs> um, and I never I said I would never go back in for it. And really? Everybody was like, you'll regret it, you'll regret it, and I said. I won't regret it because I'm never going to do it again, and I will never do a TV show again because I just I, I think the 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 TV side of it was enjoyable, but I took away from it the kind of bad experience of missing home and okay. and, and being out of me comfort zone. Yeah. Um, and then and then I was sitting on a it was a cruise ship and um, going out to Amsterdam. It was like a mini weekend break, and I just I was sitting at the dinner table with my mom and auntie and everything, and I just got this kind of wave of something through us, and I said, I need to find an internet cafe. And, and my mum was like, what? And I just went, I'll be back in a minute. And they were like, what, what are you talking about? And I just went, I ran off, and I went to the internet cafe on the ship and really? applied and went back and I went, I, I don't know why I did it, but I just I just had to do it then and there and then. And the rest, as they say, is, is history. Yeah. So, come here, you mentioned you love performing and you are going on a UK tour, right? I you? am, yes. You're not, are, you, are you coming to Ireland now? We're I'm trying my best. We're trying to lock some dates in. Okay. But it's, it works with all the it's all the boring stuff that nobody needs to know about. But it's logistics of how we're going to get it here and things. Yeah. But I'm dying to come out here and do a show. Brilliant. Well, listen, for now, the album's out, as I say, classic. It's doing amazingly well and it's going to do huge business here in Ireland because everybody loves you over here. So you have to come, right? Promise I, us you'll do your best. I promise least. that if I don't come with the tour, I'll be here for something else and I'll make sure I perform here. Brilliant. Joe McGeldy, thanks a million for coming in to talk to us. It's a pleasure, thank you. Cheers. <laughs>